In this example, we're going to discuss using the markup formula to find the cost of the product in which the distributor bought from his vendor. In this example, a distributor sells a product for $87 to his customers in which his markup rate is 14%. What is the cost of the product? Be sure to round your answer to the nearest cent. So he sells the product to his customers for $87 but that's not the price in which he bought the product from the vendor. So again, the selling price is always more than the cost of the product before the markup. So let's find that. So S is the selling price to the customer, which was $87. C is the cost of the product before the markup. Well, that's what we're trying to find, so we don't know. And the rate is the markup rate in which was given to us as 14% or we rewrite it as a decimal as 0.14. Again, moving the decimal over to the left twice. All right, let's go ahead and plug these into our formula. S equals C plus RC. The selling price is $87 equal to the cost, which we don't know, plus the rate, which is 14% or 0.14 C. But if we look at this even closely, and let me rewrite it so maybe you can see it better. This is like 87 equals 1C plus 0.14C. So we can see that these two terms on the right are like terms. If I had a dollar and then I gave you 14 cents, you would have a total of a dollar and 14 cents. So 1.14 C. So 1 C plus 0.14 C's gives me 1.14 C. And now we can easily solve for the cost by dividing each side by 1.14. And again, we're going to round to the nearest cent. So dividing 87 by 1.14. I'll go to my calculator and get 87 divided by 1.14 and this gives me 76.31578947 but this is a cost remember that the distributor will be purchasing from his vendor so we're going to round to the nearest cent which would be the hundreds place so we go ahead and look at the test digit 5 and so we'll have to round this one up so we're going to get 76.32. What does this mean? This means the cost is $76.32. Now recall that the selling price is always more than the cost of the product before the markup. So it makes sense why the cost is going to be less than the selling price of $87.